Hi, this is Brian Hyde, and uh, I know it's kind of an off week in the sense that uh, court is not in session, and so we're, um, you know, maybe we should talk a little bit about why why are we uh, taking this week off from court, and of course that means that we're not doing as many updates because there isn't a whole lot to update you on, but uh, for those who may be somewhat new to this, I, I get the sense that there are a lot of people who are stumbling across this story for the first time and and really starting to uh, sink their teeth into it. So I'll give you the thumbnail sketch. The reason we're not in court this week is because the prosecution has been caught with its hand in the cookie jar and there were things that they absolutely asserted were not true that have turned out to be true. Case in point, um, they, they talked about how, you know, the Bundys saying that uh, there were snipers positioned around their ranch in the days prior to that standoff in April of 2014. Um, the prosecution mocked it. They, they ridiculed them for that. Um, but it turns out, no, there, there actually were. There, there were trained government snipers around their, their ranch. And uh, they were told, oh, there's no, there's no surveillance. And when it came out that, no, in fact, there was surveillance, and they tried to downplay that. Well, but it was, you know, really, it wasn't even hooked up to anything, and, you know, it was just recording cattle. Well, it turns out, no, that wasn't the case. And uh, the FBI being involved, in fact, not just the FBI, but an elite FBI counterterrorism SWAT team involved in the days before there was any kind of confrontation down at the overpass. These all have proven to have been absolutely true, even though the prosecution ridiculed and, uh, you know, said that the Bundys were crazy for trying to claim such things. So these are just a few examples. There are more. In all, there are about seven different examples where evidence that should have been provided to the defense, in other words, that, uh, that there was a, an affirmative duty on the part of the, the government to provide that information to the defense, and it wasn't done. And these are potential Brady violations. Um, there's a very good possibility, according to Judge Navarro, that uh, this, this could result in a mistrial. And for, for those who struggle to, to get their minds around, well, you know, why does this matter? It matters because due process is denied. When, when government cuts corners or where, when it just by sheer might or will of power tries to impose itself or impose a violent or forceful solution um, where that's not necessary, that is running roughshod over the life, liberty, and property of people, especially people who have not been adjudicated guilty of anything. And that's a huge problem. I mean, this, these are people's lives. This, is, this isn't some game. It's, it's not just a matter of, um, you know, just fall back in line and do what you're told. Um, the, the repercussions are very serious. And, you know, Clive and Bundy has been sitting in jail for 670 plus days. Um, other defendants spent more than 660 days in jail. And now we find out that uh, the story that was given to the public initially um, isn't holding up to scrutiny. That is a big, big problem. And the judge has seen this, and this is why she has sent the jury home until a week from today, and this is why she is uh, essentially giving the prosecution another bite at the apple, so to speak, um, to, to explain why they haven't provided this evidence or to explain, you know, where their conduct was was acceptable because it's looking, it's looking pretty bad. And um, so they have until, uh, let's see, tomorrow, so Friday is when the, the prosecution will have its response ready. The defense should have a response ready by Monday of next week. And there's, there's a lot of speculation. I know you've seen it. I know it's, it's you know, all over social media. There's a lot of information floating around. There, there are a number of rumors floating around. And we've been asked by some people, you know, why at who's next? How come you guys, uh, you know, I send you information. I send you a tip. How come you're not using it? And that is a fair question. Um, we, first of all, we appreciate every tip that is sent to us, and we appreciate people sharing information. We want to be on top of, you know, the, the information that's out there um, just as well as anybody else's. We, we want to know the truth. And in this case, the truth is proving very helpful to the Bundys and to the cause of liberty. But in honoring our commitment to the Bundy family, in honoring our commitment to you, our audience, and uh, in honoring our commitment to the truth, we have to proceed with care, and we do our very best to vet 
those the, those pieces of information that are given to us. It takes time, but uh, but we really work hard to make sure that the information we're giving you is as credible as possible. And if for some reason we were to make a mistake, we will own up to it and do our best to correct it just as quickly as possible. Um, credibility is a very uh, it's a tricky thing. It takes a long time to earn it and to to establish it, but uh, it can be gone very quickly if you uh, are not careful. And I think it was uh, Walter Cronkite who, uh, his preference was, I'd rather be late and right on the story than be first and, and get it essentially wrong. And I think that's probably a, a good standard to follow. Um, and I would, I would hope anybody who is really interested in the truth would, would understand that and, and bear with us when sometimes it takes a little bit of time to get that information to you. We want you to have the benefit of the best information that we can give. We don't claim to be unbiased, but we do believe that uh, you are an adult and you're able to make up your own mind if you're presented with enough of the facts. And that's something that we intend to keep doing and it's, it's a privilege for us to do this. Please continue to share our updates with your friends. Um, there's so much information that's coming out now and it's, it's helpful to get this to new eyes and new ears, people who haven't seen or heard of it before. So if you would please take the time at the end of uh, this update, share it far and wide, and of course, uh, keep it right here. We'll be back to tell you more as soon as there's anything new to report.